Ken Klippenstein is a great journalist of TYT Investigates, and uh, he did some amazing reporting about Mike Pompeo, and he found something genuinely disturbing. So take a look at this clip from 2015. He would work every day to make sure that the Lord's Word governed our actions each and every day. It was a remarkable moment. We are blessed to live in Kansas where there are so many people that understand that. We will continue to, to fight these battles. It is a never-ending struggle until that moment Pastor Fox, Fox spoke about, till, until the rapture. Be part of it. Be in the fight. Yes, you heard that correctly. A guy who's the head of the CIA and um, Trump wants to be Secretary of State, and it looks like he's going to pass, by the way, because Rand Paul flipped his vote because he's a fucking asshole and a coward, and he's not nearly as principled as his dad was. His dad would have voted against Pompeo like that, but Trump, uh, excuse me, um, Paul was given reassurance by Trump and Pompeo, no, he's not for wars. That's what they said about John Bolton. Oh, you're not allowed to start any new wars, John, in your position as national security um, advisor. And then a week later, we're bombing Syria. Giant escalation in Syria. So... You're a sucker, Rand, or you're complicit in this and you don't care. Um, but I digress from that. So Pompeo, head of CIA, uh, perhaps next Secretary of State, speaking casually about the rapture. He's speaking casually about the rapture. Now, you might say, well, maybe he's pandering to the audience, okay, and it's a one-off. I mean, he's obviously a, a fundamentalist Christian and... You know, he's been in politics for a while, so he maybe he's just pandering, and it is what it is. I wish that was the case. No, it turns out Ken Klippenstein found out that there's been many examples of people working at the CIA who have direct firsthand knowledge of Pompeo casually talking to them and referencing the rapture. And there's been complaints where people at the CIA have said, Dude, he really believes this stuff, and he wants to try to base policy around it. To the point where people at the CIA are like, wow, this is scary, and this is a little, um, you know, uncomfortable, even for me. And it's not like the people working at the CIA are wilting flowers. I mean, I'm sure they've been involved in some many horrific things themselves. But the f And they say he's totally dismissive of anybody who's not a fundamentalist Christian. And who doesn't believe in it literally. These are the guys who are running our government, man. I, this is unbelievable. John Bolton has never met a war he didn't like. He wants to go to war with Iran, North Korea, double down in Iraq, double down in Syria, topple Assad. He wants to do all that right now. Right now. Mike Pompeo wants to execute Edward Snowden. Literally. He's pro-torture. And now we know he wants to base policy around the rapture. Well, guess what? He's made one trip as an adult. Where to? Israel. For those of you who don't know, that's where the rapture is supposed to happen. And lest you think this idea doesn't affect policy, all of the land is supposed to be Israel's. The Palestinians are supposed to not be there in order to allow Jesus to come back and for the rapture to happen. So that's why you have this unholy alliance between ultra-Orthodox Zionists and um, Christian fundamentalists. Because the, the Zionists want all the land for themselves and fuck off to the Palestinians. And the Christian fundamentalists like Mike Huckabee and John Hagee and now we know Mike Pompeo, they want Israel to have all the land so that the fucking rapture can happen. And then Jesus comes back. Some of the Jews convert to Christianity and they're saved, but most of the Jews are killed. And then, you know, Jesus rides on a fucking horse or some shit. He literally believes it. He thinks that's what's actually going to happen. And he has control of the CIA and they want him to be the Secretary of State. How can you expect logical, reasonable, rational actions to be taken to work towards peace in the Middle East, to work towards de-escalating conflicts, when these guys are actively rooting for end times. Again, that's not hyperbole. That's not conjecture. That's a fact. That's what the rapture is. So, I mean, 
people don't understand just because they wear a suit and tie. There are these old white guys who wear suit and ties, and everybody's so used to having old white guys in power that, you know, the idea that, like, they have these insane beliefs doesn't even register. But that's who this guy is. And they tell you it. It's, uh, it's out in the open. When even people at the CIA who are used to seeing some shit are like, holy fuck, this guy really is a Christian fundamentalist and he regularly talks about the rapture, that's cause for concern, man. That really should keep you up at night. If that doesn't keep you up at night, I don't know what does. I mean, we have insane Christian fundamentalists at the helm of the ship in the United States. And the, we have to rely on fucking Donald Trump's better judgment? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. A malignant narcissist who doesn't care about anybody but himself? We're relying on that guy to be able to fight back against the forces of Christian fundamentalism and end times? What a terribly unstable situation to be in.